Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of The Daily Dish. My name is Valerie and on today's episode, we're hanging out with tech bro, artist and king of soft life, Ajay Bota. How you doing, Ajay Bota? <laughs> I like you? Your... Three ranks. Let's go. I like your intro. You get out. <laughs> <laughs> you seem like a bad guy. Yeah, hey, bad guy. You yeah. are. You are. How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for coming on the show. You're welcome. I'm, I was in line with the three introductions I gave. I'm going to talk about okay. everything that you do when we get into the show. But let's get into the music first. Everybody, once you hear Ajay Bota 22, you're definitely thinking about music. Mm-hmm. So tell us why you call yourself the Yoruba Shakespeare. That's actually a nickname that somebody, someone just said it in, I think it was a tweet or yeah. like a message, like maybe I just released something and yeah. then someone said to me, I was like, I really like that name. Yeah. So I just took it and I ran with it. Oh, it's kind of like how yeah. I call, I call Borgi Culture that Guru. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. the first time I said it to him, it was like, makes sense. Culture that Guru. He should put that on one of his t-shirts. I told him that. Yeah. He said he was going to. He said yeah, he was going to. That's so, crazy. Let's talk about how long you've been doing music for. How long you've been doing music for a minute? Bro, um, long. Was your first single Serere? Yeah. So like my first, well, like my first single that blew, blew up, up was Serere. But I think I released like kind of like two other singles before that, but they were not like proper. But like there was a significant shift even in the way I was doing things mm-hmm. when I released Serere. So mm-hmm. I was like. I I knew that me and Studio Magic knew that we we're gonna make an album. Okay. Um, Shagun, Bon Kings at the time mm-hmm. just started managing me, and I think it was the first time like we actually sent like music to radio stations yeah. in Nines. Like we just emailed it. Mm-hmm. You know, we're trying. I don't know if you know I circulate that year. There's mm-hmm. one uh, like you know All sending those, yeah. uh, RT yeah. and share yeah. retweet. Like, not share. just okay. Yeah, yes. or not just okay. Yeah. Well, I think it was even the first time that we paid for like. A good placement or not just okay or something like mm-hmm. that. Um, there was Giddy Lounge then. 360 Nubs. 360 Nubs, yeah, yes. all those blogs. Yeah, that's sending around all those blogs. Why yeah. is, is 360 Nubs still still going today? That's that's is Noble that owned it. Yeah, like, yeah. So I think now he, he's transitioned, I, he's something transitioned else. to something else. Okay. Yeah. Uh I think Bella and Ija, mm-hmm. two ex- I don't know if two exclusive has started at that time, probably. But mm-hmm. there was like Hulk Share and stuff like mm-hmm. that. So you put yeah. a song on Hulk Share, mm-hmm. you tell everybody to retweet and share, retweet yeah. and share. And download the link and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So I think it was. I know for sure there's something called I circulate that you yeah. had to like that used to circulate like singles. That was the first time we actually paid them so to sec- circulate yeah, your singles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get? So that was like the first intention. So there was definitely a different scenario where we're like, okay, let's actually try and like, make an effort. Make an effort with this thing. I have a go. Okay. And, you know. So leading you know. that leads me to my question mm-hmm. because now I want to like. Considering like the platforms that you're naming, there's some people Gen Z side I Gen Z <laughs> that will be like they don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. So can you say three key things that you've learned on your journey? Um, the first thing that I learned is that if you don't if you don't like have a if you don't have a dream of something or if you don't even have like if you like if you don't reach for something mm-hmm. you you are not going to get it. There's it, some people yeah. that. You might not get to where not everybody will get to where they like reach for, but if you don't reach, that's you're not gonna get it. That's mm-hmm. the like the first thing. Um, the second thing is like I'm like everybody says this thing, you know, you really have to be ready to like risk a lot and work very hard. Yes. Like is that's like is another yeah. basic thing. Like yeah. I don't know anybody honestly. Like there are probably a few people, but like nine times out of ten people that you know go for, especially in music, mm-hmm. they put in. They put in a work. lot of time. You yeah. won't see the time. You won't know. Even like the, um, Charlie Poppy, I saw like old videos of him rapping and stuff. That so like, surprised me actually. You get, yeah, because I, I, yeah. I, as far as I'm concerned, I just feel like he just blew all of a sudden. But like, he blew all of a sudden it, to us. Yeah. But I'm sure he has been grinding. He's grinding even, for a minute. Yeah. Even to, I know how I sounded the first time I ever recorded a song. Mm-hmm. Like I know how I sounded, mm-hmm. and that's definitely not what you guys are hearing. Yeah. From then to like. If I say from Serenity, it's like the first time I recorded anything. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll say it was like maybe four years, four or five years, something. And before that, I'd been writing for like another four or five years. No you get? So that first writing, the first four or five years of writing, I didn't even record one single anything. thing. You get? And then when I started recording, I was like, hold up. I sound mm-hmm. like shit. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> all the things I've done in the last five years, we have yeah. to scrap that because mm-hmm. I wasn't writing with recording in mind. Like, So let's talk about how you call, you're an artist that collaborates often. Mm-hmm. And do you think that is important to your craft to collaborate or you just it's just something you enjoy doing? 
Um, that's a good question. It is. It depends on you as an artist. It's a very subjective thing. Mm-hmm. Um, it depends on how you enjoy your music and how you enjoy the other people's music. And like sometimes, it's just really like on on my album, there are some collaborations that were like we're just in the same room at the same time mm-hmm. and we really like the energy from what happened okay um and there were somewhere like you know I, intentional i i was like seeking the person out mm-hmm. like to be shang i have a song with to be shang on my mm-hmm. piano and she sh- goes mm-hmm. with she sh- bro i was i just love to be shang yeah. i just i love his vibe so i was like i really want to do something mm-hmm. with him um the song we did with with notes and melissa all of us were in London. I think it was after the SDC show, mm-hmm. the Palm Wine, Palm Wine Fest. Mm-hmm. I yeah, missed, yeah, I so. left the day of. Oh wow! <laughs> but I was at Damn. the pop up. But I literally yeah. left the day of. Yeah. So yeah, so it was after Palm Wine Fest, like a few days after. We're all in the studio, and mm-hmm. the, it was just going like the energy was just mm-hmm. going, going, going. So we were making jams, okay. and then we did that. Uh, when I went to Ghana, I recorded with Kitty and Joey B, okay. like a very organic session. I love you know that, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, uh Cormone, for instance i she was on my on my my previous album what happens in lagos okay so and i know that she has the poetry like mm-hmm. locked, poetry hands locked <laughs> you understand so i yeah. i literally like i saw her i was like and she was like oh like let's collaborate again I was like dude i'd written her name down oh, as oh, the fair. person that's going to do the intro and i just poetry. gave her the title of what I wanted, self life mm-hmm. manifestation, and then mm-hmm. she just ran with it, ran with it. and did it. I it's been so fun talking a, to you. In Bagada. Ever, yeah. Did you say you played in Bagada? No, we recorded it in, we recorded like the whole thing. Well, I won't say the whole thing, but 90, a lot, most of it's in Budget House in Bagada. Oh, nice. I've, yeah. I've tried to record. I've, I've, I did some ad libs. Oh yeah. One one day when Budget was recording, but it was it was it was it was, it was <laughs> it was it was fun, but it was dumb. Uh, like it was, it was like a random. I should did ad lib sha. Like I was like <laughs> I want to do I want to do and then like I did like a few, like ad libs yeah, for and him then. and yeah. Uh, but is this sound bad, sha? But I don't think it's good. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> it's been so fun hanging out with you. Yeah. Um, I know that like I've like, asked like, you. Like. I've asked you for like advice and like tips and stuff, but like I just really want to know final, final advice, even if it's just one word to the wise for people that are in multiple fields. Like, what would you suggest? Because you've been you're, you you've been able to achieve success in both mm-hmm. paths that you've chosen. Mm-hmm. So, what thing? What would you like advice? Um, just like don't like the simplest thing, which is don't let anybody say that you can't do more than one thing don't mm-hmm. let anybody like mm-hmm. say you can't even do three or four things i think all the like super super successful people in the world are, are doing, like, multiple are things. doing multiple things yeah and I you agree. know the earlier you you know if you if that's what you want to do or that's how you want to go you know the earlier you're aware of it the better okay so yeah i just say don't just let anybody tell you. it doesn't even make sense all right fair yeah. enough so when does making all cause five three drop it drops on the 17th of november okay okay now and we can find it on Apple Music. Uh, uh, any sh- Every, everywhere, sh- everybody sh- listens sh- to music. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And do you want to drop your social media? Yeah, Ajabata22 everywhere. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, on there. Okay. Yes. Ajabata22 everywhere. Twitter. Insta- okay, I do. I don't really have TikTok, but yeah. Instagram, Twitter. I love TikTok. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I all the things from TikTok somehow always find themselves to Instagram. Instagram so I can imagine how much more. Will on be TikTok. on there. Yeah, Chica. TikTok is actually is that I love yeah. TikTok for viewing and not for posting. So like I like watching yeah. people's TikToks. Yeah, but I don't like posting. I find TikTok. it hard to make to make TikToks. I don't know why. Funny enough, you know, I realized that it's actually not that hard. I just w- one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so just what it is. So sometimes then, when you get into it, you realize that it's a lot harder to do that like yeah so like the one you know that these videos where people are like arranging stuff and you see like the the things are moving fast and they keep on increasing you know how hard it is like you have to do multiple takes of like you have to keep recording and recording yeah, and recording like, and recording and recording, recording, like, recording, like, recording, recording, recording. Like, it's a lot and stuff. but anyway thank you so much for hanging out with yeah, us today and welcome. we can't wait to listen to your new ep when it drops is yeah. it an ep or an album ep, EP. okay yeah. can't wait to listen to it when it drops yeah. thanks for having me thank I've you had a good time for those of you at home, don't forget you can always visit our Instagram at Spice TV underscore Africa. Until next time, my name is Valerie and thank you for watching the Daily Dish. See you soon.